going on YouTube? My name is Equagan, and in this video, we are going to be going over my favorite exotic for this season. It's, it's, it has grown a lot on me, and now it finally has a catalyst. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Arbalist. Arbalist now has a catalyst, which gives a genesis. Breaking a combatant shield with this weapon fills his magazine from reserves. The second part doesn't really correlate to this gun because it is not an energy weapon, but it says here energy weapons regenerate ammo on hit when matching the damage type to the combatant shield. This may not seem like a lot of crazy thing to you, but this this is a lot. The reason why I say this is because this is going to make a lot of endgame even easier when there are barrier champions. You have range, you have particle deconstruction that can stack with the weapon, and on top of it, when you do break web, uh, anti barrier shields now because the gun has anti barrier set into it you also get disruption break which gives 50 percent extra damage not only to the arbalist itself but to also your teammates so your teammates kinetic can do more damage as well the neat thing is with the catalyst uh my magazine also went up to six and i also have more handling speed which is pretty nice the cool thing about this that i kind of want to talk about is now we don't have to worry about you know running arianas all the time this thing can cover any shield. That means any activity that is match game, you can bring Arbalest into. And if it has match game and it has champions, you can bring it into it. Arbalest one shots any shields in the game. And it's just insane to me because if you pay that with the disruption break and particle deconstruction, you're doing a crap ton of damage. Mind you, it is going to be able to one shot champion shields, right? Perfect example here. Um, I'm happy about it being Genesis. The reason why I say that is because I can get rid of my whole entire mag if I wanted to, right? Let me say I go down to about three, right? I do damage to this fella here. He puts his shield up. I break it. I'm back up to six, and I get to use that for damage. And you can see that I went from 20,000 to 60,000 because of the disruption break. We're going to look at it again, though. I just want to show this because this is, this is pretty nuts. This is pretty nuts. And this is going to change how we kind of approach barriers. I know a lot of people love doing uh, sniper anti-barrier. This is way better. Ready? Look, hit him in the face for 35, right? He puts that up. I break it. I'm, more, I'm doing 60. And this is not, um, you know, max particle deconstruction either. If you think about this, right? It is not max. And I have my full uh, thing back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can do some body shots here. One, two, three, and four. Put your shield up. We're going to break it. We're doing 74,000 from the initial, which is about like 20 something. So if you don't have this callus yet, to me, it's a must, especially if you love end game, you love activities that have champions in it, especially barrier champions. This is going to make a lot of your like solo, uh, you know, law sectors a lot easier. And it's just it brings a lot to the table. Uh, you know, covering each shield is kind of annoying each season. If you don't have the right weapon or the right perks, it can, it can kind of slow you down here. You basically have one of the strongest weapons in the game currently next season it won't be as crazy because the park of the construction is gone but it still does a lot for what it is okay go out there um it drops from playlist activities whether you're doing strikes you're doing crucible you're doing iron banner whatever is a, is a playlist that you can load into it can drop it i got lucky enough to get it uh in the strike place when i did my first three strikes of the week i have friends that got it from iron banner and i have friends that got it through crucible but if you have this, please go get this master work done because it will change your end game. That's all I'm saying. Now, if you like the content, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Don't forget, I'm also a Twitch partner. So I stream live daily on Twitch if you have any questions for me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, one thing that I, that I want to say. The emblem that I have on, if you comment bright wing in the comment section after whatever your comment is, you're going to be up for a raffle for an emblem, okay? Good luck to everyone. Seriously, thank you once again. Don't forget to hit notifications all. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.